Okay, guys, we're here at Nimzo, and uh, the test run I did, I'm pretty sure we're good. Uh, second form of Nimzo might be a little bit tough, but not very. So our stats haven't changed, so we're not going to go over that. I'm just going to go over our item setup. Uh, Roxy will be using his Hellsaber because I tried, and in the second phase, the Icicle Dirk does 10 less damage than the Hellsaber. I think the Hellsaber just, is just too much more attack than the bonus that the Ice Dirk gets, so... Yeah, just stick with the Hellsaber. We did pick up the Metal King Helm. He's the only one that can equip it, so Roxy's got the Metal King Helm for a little extra defense boost. Then, of course, Elfin Elixirs and Yig Leaves. Nothing, nothing too outrageous here. For Whippet, got his same gear on. Staff of Salvation. He's got the Dark Shield for the second phase of um, of uh, Nimzo here. This way he can get his MP back as uh, he ends up using his multi-heals. He'll need it, but we also have Elven Elixirs just in case, and some Yig Leaves as well. As for Newton, we're going to start with the Fire Claw, because the Fire Claw does better damage to Nimzo's first form. But in the second phase, the Icicle Turk does better because they're both equal, like, equally not resisted. So Icicle Dirk is just better because it has better attack. Simple enough right, in the second phase. Uh, Staff of Salvation's on him as well because he will be spot healing sometimes when needed. Mostly when someone gets critical hit or double attack. And of course, got some Elfin Elixir and Yig Leaves and also the Zenithian Shield just to proc a disruptive wave on second phase Nimzo every now and then. And now, Nereus. Uh, for Nereus, Nereus is sticking with the Sage Stone. I was debating on how to use him. I would give someone else the Sage Stone, because Nereus is actually pretty powerful in the second phase. But in the first phase, all of his spells are resisted, and his attack is shit. So, I could give him the Staff of Salvation instead. But then it's like... Ugh. I don't know, I feel like it's too sloppy, and I tested it with him as the Sage Stone user, so we're better off doing this. But, you know, it might be worth giving the Sage Stone to Roxy, since Roxy's attack is only okay anyway, and Nereus' attack is very good in the second phase. But anyway, got the Yig Leaves at Elf Elixir, and a Zenithian Sword is... I was debating on using this, but it was a just-in-case me measure. Uh, if I needed to get rid of the Bounce Spell in the second phase, Nimzo, but it's... Honestly, not worth it. You're better off either healing or casting spells. One or the other, not really using the Zenithian Sword. <coughs> Excuse me. Still sick. But anyway, that's it for uh, our item setup. I'm going to be cheesing first phase Nimzo, which does lengthen this episode a bit, so apologies on that. But anyway, you'll see what I mean. You'll, you should be familiar with this if you see my previous Monster Party runs. I'll meet you at the start of the fight because this part takes a while since Nimza talks way too slow. I'll see you there. It's boss time. Final boss time. Alright, so we're going to cheese this like I mentioned. We're going to send Narius out because Narius has the best cold breath resistance and just defend. Nothing. And then we switch them back. And everyone can just unleash. Uh, yeah, you just go ahead and attack. You have your Fire Claw? Yes. And you don't really have much else better to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you really don't have much else better to do. Go ahead and just attack, I guess. Look at that. Whopping six damage. <laughs> Alright. We're going to switch it back. Oops. And Sage Stone, because it heals the party in there, too. And there you go. It's that easy. Everyone's just going to go ahead and attack, and you're going to Sage Stone. Yeah, it's going to be a little slow. Now, for this part, because there's enemies out, I'm going to let them get hit once with a Cold Breath. But if it gets too bad, I'll be switching back and forth still. So anyway, focus down, Nimzo. You too. You're going to Inferno so you can help take out the other dudes. And you're going to go ahead and... Do you need to save stone? You don't. You actually have nothing better to do. Go ahead and swoosh the... Oh wait, I want to keep their, his MP actually, so... 
Now, just defend. Oh, also the bounce spell. I should. I was a little worried about that. Because yeah, he could take out the uh, the little enemies here. All right. Just go ahead and focus down, Inferno, and Sage Stone. <coughs> Sorry, I'm gonna be coughing throughout this, and probably. Not bad. All right. Roxy's a little low on his HP, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch them out. You're at full HP, so go ahead and Sage Stone to heal them in the back. You should be fine for one round of taking all this abuse from the Rectors. Okay, you're fine. Other than speed, this is probably the best way to get through this. You, you are lacking in speed, though. Uh, oh, no. You got an Inferno and Sage Stone. For once, we're not using the Dragon Staff. It's kind of weird. All right, they're down. Nice crit. All right, we're in good shape. He's going to Cold Breath, so everyone can go ahead and attack anyway. And you're going to Sage Stone just to get Roxy up a little higher. Four, that's fine. This way, also, Nereus has something to do every time, too. And we could hopefully speed this along just a tiny bit. Because, unfortunately, no one is, like, a epically great attacker here. Alright. <coughs> Damn my throat. Alright, for this, let's just defend. Full breath, does nothing. And switch him back. It's only because uh, everyone's out and also Roxy was a little on the low side. I could have Whip It help take out the Rectors, but it's not necessary. We'd rather focus down uh, Nimzo here. That's not too bad. Yeah, you really love your bounce spells. I think Roxy can handle this this time. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, I started going in, into muscle memory there. That's what I was doing for other fights. All right, here comes the cold breath. Yeah, everyone else it's like doing 100, though. Inferno and Sage Stone. Yeah, you can do that if you want. And now, these guys take the longest, I feel. Alright, now we're going to switch back over to just Nereus. Nereus, your HP is good. Go ahead and Sage Stone to heal them. Yeah, you, you keep using Bounce. Alright. Oh, switch it back. If he didn't have Disruptive Wave... Well, actually, that's a thought. Maybe having... <clears throat> maybe having, um... The Fairy Foil would actually be a good idea here. Just for this part, because then, like, times then uh, Nereus doesn't need to heal, could just buff his defense for the moments where he has to tank the, the uh, cold breath and all. <laughs> Alright, everyone's HP is in pretty good standard, so we're going to take this one. And just Sage Stone to top us off. Yeah, he hits a little harder, unfortunately. Newton's in trouble. Okay. Attack. You have to help out healing. You're actually you're still going to breath, and you're going to save stone. Newton might die. Eh. Okay, we're all right. That got a little dicey, and we probably shouldn't have bothered with tanking, but whatever. Go ahead and just heal everybody. Narius may be in a little bit of trouble here. But not the worst trouble. He's mostly safe. Oops. Okay. You're going to do attack. You have to help out with the healing this time. Breath it, and Sage Stone. This is basically a way to mitigate needing to use our MP. Alright, for this, I'm actually just going to have you 
defend it. Okay. And then you guys could just go all out while you heal. That's okay. Uh, everyone actually could tank this one this time. So you go ahead and sage start it up. You breathe on us. Nasty, nasty breath. Okay. You guys can just keep attacking and use Sage Stone. I love it when Sage Stone covers most of the damage. Ugh. Alright, now I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to go ahead and defend this time. It's really cool. I'm glad I ran into this with the Golem uh, Monster Party. It helps so much figuring out new strategies and all, and this is actually a pretty good one, I think. It's not exciting or anything, but it, it works. It also makes a mage a pretty good tank. It's kind of funny, actually. But again, it does extend the, uh, the game time a little bit here. We're in good shape, but I'd rather play it safe now. All of his summons do the extra attacks, which sucks, unfortunately. But luckily, defend is a pretty good option. Sage Stone. Thank you. Okay, they're still not going down yet. Ugh. Just knock it off and die already. We're almost there. Ooh, I almost flee fled. <laughs> not like it would work, but still. Though it would be rather humorous if they if it let you. I feel like a Dragon Quest game did something like that before. I might be mixing it up with another game though. And they left a funny message like, oh, are you ready to actually fight now or something? I think I'm thinking of another game though. Alright, I'd rather not tank it yet because we should almost be there. So we're just gonna go ahead and defend. Go ahead, revive your buddy, I don't really care. Doesn't bother me, really. Okay. Go ahead and you two attack, breathe it, and... Yeah, Sage Donut. Alright, one of them's down, which means you'll probably revive. Hmm. You know what? Everyone just go for it. Top them off, but just go for it. It sucks, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta do a little, a little bit more. <laughs> Excuse me again. I'm trying to cover the mic so I don't pop on the mic, so apologies if it's not as very good here. Uh, uh, what are we gonna do? You actually do uh, attack, breathe, and heal because this is not the cold breath round. Thanks to tanking it last time. Settle down. Oh, thank you for that crit, Roxy. That rocked. Pun intended. Okay, that was first form. And I'm going to fast forward this part. We're Admiral Fire Fighters, guys. Hooray! Bad tidings. Blah, blah. We know. Scream, scream. Suffer, suffer. Sacrifice. You're an almighty Nimzo. And you're going to change your body per permanently to prove it. Ah, this tickle in my throat's never gonna go away, it feels like. Sorry. I, I'm a little sad that I had to record it while I'm a little bit sick, so, but... Mm. Anyway, it's time for final, final boss time! Against Grandmaster Nimzo in his true form. Alright, so. Nothing special for you. You are just going to attack. You are going to set up your Dark Shield. You're gonna switch to the Icicle Dirk. <coughs> Excuse me. An attack, and you are going to Sage Stone. Good hit. Ow. Alright, you got some MP out of that. You're going to attack. You need to help out with the healing. Let me see. 75. 150, 70. 
which should be enough. Yeah, it should be enough for the Sage Stone and Staff of Salvation. Hmm. Oh yeah, fun fact, Roxy has a little bit of resistance to... to, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, Sap spell, so kind of nice, actually. My attack, I'm gonna say go ahead and multi-heal this time. And Sage Stone with it. <coughs> Good. Yeah, Narius is not going to get their chance until we know a bounce spell has gone down. Uh, you can get away with just doing that. Actually, no, you go ahead and attack and let him just keep Sage Stoning for now. Alright, that's a second to sap. You two attack. You're going to go ahead and Zenithian. You know what? Just in case he, is, he has a bounce up, let's just prove he doesn't. This way he'll either reapply the bounce or disrupt his wave us. Alright, he didn't either, but that's fine. You go ahead and multi-heal, attack, and you're gonna Kaswoosh! Kaswoosh has the best damage that he could do, because better than Kakrackle, and not quite like Refrizzle, but still pretty good. Alright. You guys can actually attack, and yes. And hey, you can too! Alright, that's round one of Kasab. It actually affected Roxy this time too. Alright, you're just gonna heal yourself. Attack, and you're gonna attack. Alright, MP for you! Oh wait, he forgot to reapply it. Darn. In that case, Dark Shield up, and you have to Sage Stone this time. <coughs> I gotta remember that after the Disruptive Waves. Ah, that sucked. You know what, you go heal yourself. You're gonna attack, and you know what? Yeah, let's force him. This way he gets distracted with bouncing or disrupting. Well, bouncing anyway. MP for you. Alright, go ahead and multi-heal. You're gonna attack... I think to be safe we should Sage Stone, because we do have a Kasap on us, too. Yeah, that was the right move. Alright, Noon's gonna have to bounce up. Ooh, yeah, heal yourself. Get a bounce spell up, and Sage Stone to help out with it. Good, we forced that. I don't know if Bounce Spell is up on him still or not, so I'm going to disrupt a wave with Narius. Heal yourself, attack. Yeah, anytime I'm not sure, I'd rather just do that. Alright, uh, Bounce is up, I gotta remember that, so which means... I mean, not Bounce. Dark Shield was down, so I go ahead and do this. That was one Kasap. Eh, not the high roll there, but Kaswoosh has a hot, wide damage range. I think we need to Sage Stone instead. So I'd rather get some damage out, so let Whippet attack. Whippet does okay. Not great. Alright, go ahead and heal, attack, and Kaswoosh! It's thanks to the Magic Marionette that I realized Kaswoosh is pretty good against him. Alright, that's a second Kasap, I think? No, that's a first Kasap. Which means... actually... Anyone need spot healing? Uh, Roxy can use a little more. Good damage. Ow. Yeah, why don't you... and you help out healing this time while you go ahead and switch. Because Kaswoosh usually do, does better damage than Newton. Not that time. <coughs> oh, we are fully Kasap. We gotta get Bounce up. Uh, heal. Bounce, and Sage Stone anyway. That's fine. You got some MP out of it. Good. Okay, heal yourself, attack, 
and he doesn't have bounce on himself. So getting a swoosh. Doing okay. A little touch and go at times. All right, our defense is overset, at least. You're going to attack. I need you to dark shield up again. You go ahead and help heal Roxy, and you do Jakku. I wanted to get that up before I forgot it. Okay, that hurt. Heal, attack, and I'm gonna let head, go ahead and let you just get through. Reviving is not the worst in case. Nice crit! Yeah, he's in meditate phase. He's not gonna use bounce again. Ooh, that's a lot. Uh, go ahead and heal. I'm gonna have you go ahead and Zenithian and Yuka switch. Alright, Fire Breath is not a problem. Not as big of a problem, anyway. Alright, he disruptive Disruptivated? Yeah, that's the word. Okay, multi-heal. This time. Yeah, you can go ahead and multi-heal. You're gonna have to get a Dark Shield up later, though. Attack and Kaswoosh. <laughs> this is the rushdown phase, anyway. That's fine. Alright, you can Dark Shield now, and you guys can afford to just go all out. Alright, Fire Breath, that hurts a bit. You can get away with just using the Staff of Salvation this time. Because I don't even think we're Kasapta yet. Alright, this is going to be a multi-heal now. Oh, definitely a multi-heal. We actually might need a Sage Stone, too. Yeah, we gotta. Yeah, Nereus is unfortunately like a mixed healing and support here. I mean, an uh, attack. Oh! Desperate phase! It's okay that Newton died. I'm, I'm okay with this. We're actually... We skipped the meditate... Well, we didn't skip, but we got past the meditate, meditate phase. We're almost there. Go ahead and revive and... Ooh, I can't get too excited. Damn it, my throat. <laughs> we don't even need to... To lure out Disruptive Wave anymore. We could, but we don't need to. You know what? Just multi-heal. Because I want to get the swoosh in instead. Yeah, we have two more hits of, uh... Of multi-heal. And Kasap doesn't matter at this point. Alright, 215. That's alright. You're gonna help heal, and so are you. Because Kasush does better damage usually. Ooh. Someone was a little slow. Well, at least he didn't follow up with an attack. Alright, yeah, you need a multi-heal. You guys get, go ahead and attack it. This is a little bit better than my test run. I only did one. But the strategy did seem pretty safe. Uh-oh. Okay. We're okay. You can multi-heal. You got extra MP right now. I'm gonna let Roxy risk it, because we're almost there. Alright, a kaboom. MP for you! Nice! Yeah, we can actually just spam multi-heal now, and that's why Narius can spam the swoosh. That's why I love that Dark Shield so much. Guys, it's so good. Not sure how we're going to do S-Dark yet, but still, it's pretty good. Um, hmm. I guess Spot Heal. Oh, not even much. Eh, you're better off just attacking then. You may as well. He's almost there. Right, multi heals coming soon. Ooh, yes, MP. Multi heal attack, and I'm gonna say go ahead and swoosh. The most dangerous thing is his physical attack at this point. <coughs> Excuse me again. Be nice. Uh, nah, you can just spot heal yourself. I was about to multi heal him for one. <laughs> I love how Staffs of Salvation are so good, though. Oh, boy. Multi-heal, definitely. At least we got the MP for it. But I'm going to play it risky and not bother Sage Stoning or extra Staffs of Salvation here. 
That's right. We got him. Okay. That was pretty good. I love that strategy. I That was fun. I love it when I'm able to use spells against the, the bosses because most of them are so immune or highly resistant that you don't bother. Physical damage is usually better in Dragon Quest V, but Zap and Woosh and Kafrizzle are like the three best spells you could use. Anyway, now that that's done, I'll meet you at Estark. See you there.